this is treatment number three. Hooked up, just had dinner. I enjoyed that actually. Uh, some rice, some pork, dinner roll, cup of coffee, and got a yummy cake looking thing here. I'll munch into in a minute. After this, I can be discharged and go home, so. Almost there. On the machine again for three and a half hours. Been on for, it feels like an hour, but probably a little less than that. Three in a row, baby. All done, just waiting for transport, and uh, I'll be out of here. Inside our bodies, we have kidneys, and they go right back here. And, and our back. And our back. And the kidneys help clean our bodies inside. So we don't get sick. But da Daddy doesn't have kidneys. Just me? You, yeah. Healthy people, people, other people, everyone, everyone else has kidneys. But Daddy doesn't have kidneys. So what happens is Daddy's body gets dirty and can't clean. So Daddy has to connect to a machine, and the machine cleans Daddy's body so Daddy doesn't get sick. No more. No more. So that's what the kidneys do. They clean our bodies. And you have kidneys. You know how many kidneys you have? You have two. And Daddy used to have two. But when Daddy was a, a, a young boy, they, they got, Daddy got very sick, and so Daddy's kidneys went away. And then Daddy had to connect to the machine, and the machine does what? What does the machine do for Daddy? Make you better. Make me better, and it cleans my body so that Daddy can stay with you. And it make you sick anymore. And it doesn't make me sick anymore. And so that's why Daddy went to the hospital. That's why Daddy has been sick. Because Daddy needed the machine to make Daddy better. When I said to die. Huh? You not to die. What happened? Ah, you're not I say. Now you said died. Died what? So you not make you sick? To make me not sick, so yeah. And, and I make you die anymore. And, yeah. It won't happen. Daddy's going to be here with you because Daddy's better now, okay? Yeah. But you're a little bit swollen. I'm a little swollen and I will continue to be swollen, yeah, but the treatments will take that away. It's just water inside. Yeah. You can shake the water. The machine takes the water away and cleans Daddy. So Daddy will be okay. So my little one has a lot of questions. It's important that I answer those questions because when I come home with the machine to start doing treatment at home, she's going to see the machine and um, it's important that she, she understands what's going on and she has a lot of questions. So why not answer them? She's smart enough to understand. She gets it. Um, so I'm getting ready to take a shower now. I can't get my catheter wet, so I've, uh, my wife has helped me kind of cover this up with a plastic bag and I have my other catheter down here. I can't get either of them wet, so swimming is out, but I have to shower, so this should, this should be okay. Came home Saturday night from the hospital uh, kind of late and um, just spent the day yesterday resting, same thing today, sitting around, just recovering. I was in a lot of pain last night. I had a lot of gas, um, and it was just very painful, very painful. So I took some gas X, and they kind of helped relieve some of the pain. I had an abdominal surgery where they had to place the, the uh, catheter in the, in the abdomen. So in order to do that, it's like a very microscopic type surgery where they make the incision and they have to blow up the belly. Um, and, and so, uh, you're going to experience a lot of gas after a surgery like that. So I was very gassy last night and it was painful, but I feel much better today. Oh 
So I just got home from dialysis. My mother-in-law picked me up. My wife dropped me. Can't drive yet. Um, in the old days, I used to drive myself to and from dialysis, but I've uh, not long had abdominal surgery where they placed the catheter, so no driving yet. And it's only for a few weeks. I'll be going back and forth uh, to the clinic, and then eventually I can start dialysis at home. So it was a three, three hour and a half treatment today. I'm a little drained, a little tired. They kept me an extra 30 minutes, which sucked because, you know, you do three and a half hours hooked to the machine. You just want to be unhooked and go home. But my blood pressure was high. So they gave me a pill and they wanted to sit and wait to see if the blood pressure came down. Um, and so, you know, that drop in my blood pressure, that makes me feel like just drained. But the actual treatment itself, I mean, I feel okay, a little tired. Um, you know, I did three dialysis treatments in the hospital back to back, three days in a row. But, you know, you go from dialysis and then back to your bed, you know, in your hospital room. So it's a little different now. You know, now I'm, it's real life. You know, you get up, you walk out of the clinic and you go about your day. So there is no, you know, I'll probably lay down a little later, but if I can help it, um, I want to try not to get used to having to have to take a nap. I used to have to do that back in the day. Um, I think I was just a weak little bitch back then. I'm a lot stronger now, both mentally and physically. And if I can help it, uh, I won't take a nap. I just want to be able to do my stuff and go about my day. You know what I mean? So I have to work on some meal plans. I don't have to, but I want to because my clients mean the world to me. And they are due for meal plans. And now that I'm at home just recuperating and recovering and I have all this time on my hands, I'm going to make sure I go to work and put those meal plans together for my clients and get them out as soon as I can. Um, Got to make breakfast now, though. I mean, the, the whole, you see, dialysis, I go in early, but like half the day's gone now. It's already past, uh, it's tw past 12 noon. So when I can do dialysis at home, at night, unhook in the morning and go about my day, it will be just a smoother much smoother for me. It would just be f more flexible, and uh, hopefully that works out a lot better than this. But for the next few weeks, uh, this is what it is. So, breakfast now. All right, so I've made myself some breakfast, cup of coffee. I am on a fluid restriction, so I have to watch my fluid. Uh, about one liter a day is all I'm allowed. So, that sucks. Oh, that tastes good. And then I've made breakfast, got a white hoagie roll, got some turkey, some scrambled eggs, and a thin slice of cheese. I can't do my whole grain Ezekiel bread anymore. I have to keep it white. Um, so my diet's going to have to change quite a bit. Uh, but I eat clean anyway. So, you know, I've discussed that with... with you know, the clinic and uh, the nutritionist and uh, it shouldn't be a hard transition for me. There's just a few things I need to look out for. Um, I was already following a, a low sodium diet. Um, so I just need to watch my fluids, continue to uh, eat low sodium foods and watch the phosphorus, the potassium. Um, those are things I need to look out for. So. And, you know, those things are found in almost <laughs> all foods. So you just have to do your best and, and try to eat uh, the foods that are not that high in phosphorus, not that high in potassium. The machine will help remove some of the potassium from my blood. Um, phosphorus, it has a hard time doing that, so I have to really watch it and blah, blah, blah. The diet sucks. It's the renal diet. Look it up. Everything is poison. But it is what it is, so I'm going to enjoy my breakfast now. You know you want to see me take a big bite, so I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you that big bite. Mm. Good.